Welcome to the magic of math, where today we're talking the zero product property to solve a quadratic equation in factored form. Here's our question today. We're asked, what are the solutions of this equation? 4x multiplied by the quantity x subtract 8 is equal to zero. You're given four answer choices. Here's where I'd like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we want to find the solutions of this equation, and anytime I have a quadratic equation that is in factored form set equal to zero, I'm going to use the zero product property, which states if the product of two or more factors is zero, then at least one of the factors must be zero. So at least one. So either the quantity 4x is one factor, must be zero, so 4x must be equal to zero, the second factor is x subtract 8, and or x subtract 8 must be equal to 0, because one factor multiplied by 0 will give you a product of 0. Thus, you have the zero product property. So we're going to write two equations. We're going to take the first factor, 4x, and we're going to set it equal to 0, 4x equals to 0. The second factor, x subtract 8, also equal to 0. Now we solve these two simple equations to find our possible solutions. So 4 multiplied by x. To get x alone, we're going to do the inverse of multiply by 4, which is to divide by 4. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. 4 divided by 4 is 1, leaving me x. 0 divided by 4 is 0. So I get a solution of x equals 0. Solving our second equation, we want to solve for x. The inverse of subtract 8 is to add 8 to each side. Negative 8 and 8 are what we call a zero pair, leaving me x. 0 add 8 is 8. So I have my two solutions, x is equal to 0, x is equal to 8. Now we want to check to see if those are actual solutions of this equation. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to take this value, x equals 0, and we're going to replace x with 0 to see if it makes the equation true. So let's rewrite that without the x and putting 0. 4 times 0, 0 subtract 8. 4 times 0 is 0. 0 subtract 8 is negative 8. 0 multiplied by negative 8 is 0. It checks. 0 equals 0. It's true. So x is equal to 0 is a solution of this quadratic equation. Now, let's check our second answer solution. We have x is equal to 8. So we're going to go ahead and take that solution, and we're going to evaluate this equation, x equals 8. So let's replace, rewrite this, replacing the x's with 8's. So we're going to do that 4 times 8, and then 8 subtract 8. 4 times 8 multiplied by x subtract 8 the x being the 8. 4 times 8 is 32. 8 subtract 8 is 0. The product of 32 and 0 is 0, and 0 does equal 0, so it checks. So now I know that our answer choice C, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 8, are the solutions for this quadratic equation. And that is how you use the zero product property to solve a quadratic equation in factored form. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon.